Hey there, it's Coach Ken from Total Female Hockey, and I'm just sitting here in my office getting ready for the Total Female Hockey Experience Camp, which starts next week. Lots of stuff to do, uh, but I wanted to touch on a little bit of the questions I asked you guys a couple weeks ago on how I could help. And I got a lot of great questions back, mostly on all of the six different areas of player development that I like to talk about. Uh, proper warm-ups, proper nutrition, proper cool-downs, proper speed and strength training, and proper conditioning. Okay, Those are five of the most common areas I get questions on. But by far the most common question I get is about the mental side of the game. Okay? Forget the physical side, but the mental side of the game. And the reason I want to talk to you about this today is this is the single biggest difference between girls hockey and boys hockey. For all of you parents, coaches, and players out there, okay, you need to understand these differences if you're going to have your most successful season ever this year. Okay? So by far the biggest difference between boys and girls hockey players is confidence. Okay? Boys tend to be overconfident in their ability. And I know that sounds bad, but I'll give you an example. When a boy goes out and scores a goal, okay, he walks around the next day thinking he's all hot stuff, okay, thinks he's Wayne Gretzky after one goal. Not a bad thing, great to have lots of confidence. Okay? But girls, on the other hand, tend to be very underconfident in their ability. They tend to downplay their accomplishments. Okay? I know this because I did this as a player as well. Okay? It's called self-deprecation, putting yourself down. I'll give you an example. This year I had a girl who scored her first ever goal, in a game, and she actually scored three goals in that game, so she got a hat trick. I was so excited for her after the game, I could you know, hardly contain myself. Um, and I was talking to her afterwards, and I said, you know, you, you did such a great job, all the things you did right uh, to score those three goals. And she turned to me and she said, yeah, but I really screwed up on that one play, and they scored. And she was right. She really screwed up. I mean, she made a, a cross-ice pass in, in the neutral zone that got picked off. They went in on a 2-1-0, and, and they scored a goal. Okay? Huge mistake. But... That compared to the three goals that she scored, okay, not really that huge of a mistake. So it was very, very interesting because she wasn't able to see the amazing accomplishment she had. She wasn't able to recognize that. Okay? Instead, she focused entirely on that one mistake she made. And even though it was big, okay, it wasn't as important as the three goals that she scored. So it's a question of putting yourself down, not wanting to own your, your accomplishments. And that's a really, really big thing for all female athletes. I see it all the time with female hockey players. Okay? And that comes down to, I think, the fear of being good. And I've talked about this before in a couple of the newsletters. Okay? Scared of standing out from the crowd. And I know as coaches out there, you may or may not know this, but sometimes you'll see a girl do something really great on the ice. You'll ask her to demonstrate it. And you think that you're giving her the biggest compliment but in reality, she looks at, and looks at that and goes, oh my gosh, what if I screw up? Oh, what if everyone else thinks I think I'm really good because now the coach likes me? Okay? All these little things that are really critical differences between the boys and the girls side of the game. And the mental part of it is, is really, really huge. So girls don't necessarily want to be uh, praised in front of the rest of the team. I know that sounds crazy. They don't necessarily want to demonstrate in front of the rest of the team. Because okay? they don't want to be seen as an outsider. They don't want to be seen as being not part of the group. Okay? They don't want to be a puck hog okay? and they definitely don't want to be seen as a bitch and I know I talked about that in a newsletter a little while back but that's the truth. Okay? That's what girls are thinking. I remember thinking that you know, that I wouldn't want to you know, keep the puck on a, a two-on-one and shoot because if I didn't pass to my teammate you know, she might think that I didn't like her. Okay? And it's crazy to even mention it but it goes through so many girls hockey players heads. I hear it all the time and I really thought it was important today to share that those ideas with you, the idea of underconfidence, the ideas of scared to, being scared to be good, because it takes a tremendous amount of strength to be set apart from the crowd. Okay? It takes a tremendous amount of strength to have your goals and know that not everyone else on your team has the same goals as you, and to still passionately pursue them every single day, knowing that there, you run a risk of being set out from the crowd. Okay? You run a risk of falling f flat on your face and failing. Okay? It takes a lot of strength to be able to do that. It takes a lot of confidence to be able to do that. And it's a very hard thing for young female athletes to have. So I wanted to bring that to light to you guys. I know it's a really, really critical thing. All the coaches out there, parents have been asking me tons of questions. Players, be confident in your abilities. Okay, Own your accomplishments. What I'm going to be doing in the next four weeks here with you guys, I'm going to be releasing two new programs. Okay, They're going to cover the physical side of the game because I always want to focus on that because I know that's so critical for female hockey players and will really set you apart from the crowd. But more than that, it's going to have a really big focus on the mental side of the game because I think that's something that we all need to address on a greater level, whether it's the players, 
whether it's the parents and whether that's the coaches, hey, there's tools you need for the mental side of the game that I want to be able to share with you. So in the meantime, I'm going to go get ready for the camp. I'm really excited. I look forward to seeing all of you who are coming uh, next week. And uh, the rest of you, I want you to keep working hard and dreaming big.